this tutorial we are going to learn about the UV canvas unwrapping a sphere, a cube and a cylinder and various techniques for UV mapping The UV canvas is a 2D plane that projects textures on top of meshes that lie on it it uses the U and V axis which are respectively equal to X and Y. Although the UV canvas is displayed in a perspective view in this video, it will always be displayed in a front orthographic view when using 3D programs. Again, X and Y are respectively equal to U and V. And lastly, although the UV canvas may seem solid in this video, it will always be displayed as a grid system when using unwrapping programs. The reason why a mesh must be unwrapped before a texture is applied to it is because if it isn't unwrapped, it will be a planar texture projection, which will usually give horrible results. Here is a rock pillar as an example. If we project a texture right on top of it without unwrapping first, we'll get a planar texture. The results will be this. This is a checker box, by the way. And this is the result after an unwrapping. And now I will demonstrate unwrapping techniques. First of all, we'll take our UV canvas, which is completely two-dimensional, put up an image and project it right on top of the UV canvas, which is still completely two-dimensional. Now we'll lay the UV canvas at a more acceptable angle, which will help us see what's going on. And now we'll create a mesh, in this case a cube, which we'll put our texture on. We'll unwrap it on top of the UV canvas we made. And now let's unwrap the cube right on top of the UV canvas. Don't forget that in an actual 3D program, the UV canvas would look something like this. Anyway, now that it's unwrapped, we can use the UV canvas to project the texture right on top of our mesh. Now we'll delete the unnecessary parts of the UV canvas which are not used for the texture projection. And finally we'll wrap this cube back to its original position and form now with the texture applied. Let's rewind. And now we are going to repeat this exercise. Only this time we'll be using an actual image. We are going to be using a cube and unwrapping it right on top of our UV canvas. We'll use the UV canvas to project our texture right on top of our mesh. Again, I've hidden the parts of the canvas which were not projected because they are unused and only waste space. And there we go, we now have a cube with an image applied to it. And now we'll see one of the techniques for unwrapping a cylinder. Cylinders will be even easier for us to unwrap because they will only require us to have a plane and bend it 360 degrees to match the cylinder. The bending of the plane will usually be automated for us by most of the 3D editing programs. Spheres are probably the most complicated objects to unwrap because they have an organic shape that's hard to unwrap into a full 2D shape. The usual process is using a cylinder which is pinched in the top and the bottom in order to create a similar projection to that of a sphere. Although UV mapping seems like a very scary idea, it is actually a very easy topic to grasp if you practice it hard enough. Simple and easy UV mapping techniques like we've just learned can be implemented on even the most complex of objects and still give a very satisfying result. UV mapping is a huge subject that consists of many subcategories such as UV overlapping, texture seams, UV mirroring and more, but that's for another tutorial. 